Good morning, groovy citizens of Earth, and happy Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. My weekend was actually good. It was cold, but it was good nonetheless. So now before I jump into this topic, because I just couldn't wait to share it with you, can I just tell you guys that I just realized that I didn't put my earrings in. And I said, well, Michelle, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, even as I'm saying my little good morning spiel, I'm thinking I could just stop the video, run in the house, put on some earrings. You all would never know the difference. Come back out and start this video over. But you know what? I am not. It is what it is. And we're just going to move forward. So today's topic is be thankful while you wait. And I see the, the FedEx truck is photobombing my video, as you can see out the window. But again, the topic is be thankful while you wait. And I wanna share a couple of quotes with y'all. This quote is by none other than Bishop T.D. Jakes. And he said, is there anybody who feels weary along the way? Maybe you're thinking how long, Lord, before we get there. This has taken longer than I expected. Mm. I thought I'd be married by now. I, I thought my business would be up by now. But here I am in this place called the wilderness. And now I got to fight while I'm worried. Mm. Y'all, that's this. That's a powerful statement right there because can you imagine that you are fighting and you're worried in your wilderness experience? That's a lot going on. And then here's another quote by Joel Osteen that I want to share with you. And he says, it's easy to believe when things are going our way. And it is. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. The test comes when you can't see any sign of what you're believing for. Let me, can I say that one more time? The test, your test, my test, our test will always come when we have to when we are believing for something, but we don't see any sign of whatever that thing or those things are. That's a real test right there. God does a number, I'm sorry, God does much of his work in secret. I told y'all sometimes I can't even read my own handwriting, but God does much of his work in secret. You can't see him putting the healthy, putting, I'm, I don't know what it was I was trying to write. You can't see him, I guess, creating health, the promotion on your schedule. At some point, you are going to see what God was doing behind the scenes. So in other words, you don't see God while he's working because right now, even as I am doing this video, God is working behind the scenes for you and he's working for me and he's creating some big things, but we, we can't see it with the natural eye. Even with these glasses on, I still can't see it. Oh, but there will come a time when all that God was working on in secret will come to pass. Mm, Y'all, that, that's powerful. That, that'll make you shout and we can have the benediction of God on home right there. So when God put the promise in your heart, he, de he determined the right time to bring it to pass. When you understand that God has a right time, you won't have to live a worried life. Can I say that one more time? When you understand that God has a right time, I said God has a right time. I didn't say you had a right time. I didn't say I had a right time, but God has a right time. And that's um, that, that you don't have to worry as, as life goes on because God's timing is always on time. Mm. And then here's an, a quote by Steve Harvey that says, I can't complain about what's on my plate when my whole goal was to eat. Come on, somebody. Y'all, y'all gonna make me shout through the sunroof of my truck. When you ask God, to fill your plate with whatever it is that you've asked him for, 
Don't sit there and complain. You said, Lord, send me on a job where I'm sitting at the top in the executive office and he put you in that job. So now you have all this stuff that you have to do that's required of you and you're complaining, but you wanted to eat, i.e. you wanted that big job. He gave you what you asked for and you're still complaining. You said, Lord, send me on a good man or a good woman or, or, or so that I can get married because I want to have kids. I want to start a family. And he gave you that good man or that good woman. And he allowed you all to start your family. And now you're complaining because you have to get up in the middle of the night for feedings. I remember those days. My daughter will be 33, 34 on the 21st of this month, but I still remember getting up, getting up at all times of the night to do these feedings because I bottle fed, but that was my choice. And, and so you can't complain when you've asked God to give you stuff. So I'm gonna repeat what Steve said one more time. You can't complain about what's on your plate when your whole goal was to eat. So y'all better be careful about that because what's going to happen is God's going to say, well, you know what? Now this, he or she is asking me for ABC and XYZ. I'm going to give it to them. Then they're going to complain. So I'm not going to bother to give it to them at all. Mm. Here's another quote by Joel Osteen. And he says, don't get talked out of your dreams. Don't let doubt keep you from believing for what God has promised. We're all going to wait, but learn to wait the right way. Can I say that one more time? We all going to wait. Let me tell you something. I don't care what, and when I say I don't care, I do care, but y'all don't talk about it. it doesn't matter what it is that you've asked for. You're all, we're all going to have to wait for something period end of sentence but we need to learn how to wait the right way see I don't know about you but there's some things in life that I'm waiting for but I've learned to wait the right way I've learned to wait believing that God is going to answer my prayers I've I've learned to wait knowing that God is going to provide the things that he knows that I'm in need of and so I just wait with a heart of thanksgiving with an attitude of gratitude i'm not mad i'm not weary i'm not any of that stuff i'm just gonna sit back and i'm gonna sip on my mcdonald's sweet tea don't judge me because i don't judge you and i did need a sip of, of uh, something to drink but i'm gonna sit back quietly and i'm gonna wait but you know what else i'm gonna do i'm gonna thank god every single day I'm going to wait believing and thanking God in advance for what I've asked for. That's how you learn to wait. Every day you wake up, you say, Lord, thank you. And then you start to list those things that you've asked him for. Even if you don't see it, even if he's not giving it to you yet, you thank him anyway. Mm. But that quote was by Joel Osteen. And so my takeaway is that God can do the impossible you just have to to uh, you just have to be uh, you have to trust and be patient and then believe. I messed that all up, but God can do the impossible. You just need to trust, have patience, and believe. That's it. That's all. That is it. That's all. Y'all, there is a huge squirrel in my yard with this, and he's on the porch. Oh. What in the sea? Y'all, this huge squirrel just went up on my porch. And I don't know if that's a big nut in his mouth or what, but he was trying to bury it in that pot. See, I'm going to have to take that dirt out. I'm sorry, y'all got distracted, but I'm going to have to take the dirt out of that pot because I don't know what else they done buried down up in there. But I digress. Let me get back to what I was talking about. So today's topic was be thankful while you wait. So I'm gonna unpack that just a little bit more and I'll touch on a few of the highlights of what I shared and then I'm gonna let you all be. So when I say be thankful while you wait, do you know how many times I've met someone and you know how you just talking and you say, girl, how you been? What, what you up to? Oh girl, you know, I'm, I'm fair to Midland. Y'all ever hear somebody say that? And so I don't know why that, that came to me. And then they'll say something like, you know, I'm just waiting. Girl, I've been talking to God and I've been asking him for ABC, XYZ, and I'm still waiting. I still don't have it. 
and and you can just hear the frustration and the fed upness in their voice but that's that's no way to wait that is no way to wait because in your mind what you're saying is now look at here god i've asked you for a b c x y z i'm still waiting what are you waiting on when are you going to give me what i've asked you for you your word says that you can do all things and, and, and that there's nothing that you can't do. There's nothing that you won't do for your children. And all we have to do is believe in you. Well, I'm believing and I'm still waiting. Your arms are probably crossed and you're looking like this. And God's looking at you like, you know what, if you don't go sit yourself down some daggone wear. Let me tell you something. That's not the right way to wait. That's why I tell you all every day without fail. And this is my hand to God, but every day without fail, I wake up and I say, Lord, thank you in advance for, and sometimes I say in advance, and sometimes I just say thank you for, and like I said, I run my list. It's not a long list, but I run my list off of the things that I've asked God for. And I say, Lord, thank you. I'm so appreciative for you giving that thing to me or you allowing that door to open for me. Now, do I have it? in the literal sense no i don't but i'm thanking god in advance see god loves those that know how to wait because some of y'all are just nasty anyway but you're nasty to god while you're waiting on him to do something for you now make it make sense for me how are you gonna be nasty with god while you've asked him to do something lord i want you to do this for me but I'm going to be nasty as I wait. Oh, no, honey. That's not how it works. That is not how it works. So my takeaway for today really is this. I need you to be thankful while you wait. Get rid of the attitude. Get rid of the ugliness. And just be thankful while you wait. See, because here's the other thing that you have to think about. Let's say that you are driving a toyota corolla and maybe you're driving um and i'm looking at this my neighbor's car next door i don't know what year that that toyota corolla is but let's say it's a uh, 1985 okay and you're driving a 1985 toyota corolla but what you really want is a 2022 toyota corolla now i don't drive toyota so i don't even know if they make a 2022 corolla but for the sake of argument that's what we're going to go with and 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 you just as nasty and you're ugly and and and, and you you're mad because god is not moving fast enough for you but in what you really should be doing is saying lord thank you for this 1985 toyota corolla that you blessed me with when i first got it whenever you got it doesn't even matter thank you lord for allowing it to continue to run thank you for allowing me to have transportation to get back and forth from where i need to go thank you for allowing this 1985 toyota corolla to get me to the job that you've given me lord and allowed me to keep thank you that even though i may have had to struggle to pay to pay for that 1985 corolla I was able to pay it off and it's still running in 2022. That's how you wait the right way. And then in the midst of that, you thank God for the, 20, uh, the 2022 Toyota Corolla. So be thankful for what you have while you're waiting for what you want. Mm, come on, somebody. Be thankful for what you have why you wait for what you want and y'all that's it that that's that's all i that's all i want you to do think about that be thankful while you wait because i know i am and the quotes that i shared with you i'm going to excuse me put these in the the uh, description box but i want to just share this uh, this last one one more time by steve harvey i can't complain about what's on my plate when my whole goal was to eat Y'all let that marinate in your spirit as you go through the rest of this day and the rest of this week. Heck, the rest of this month and the rest of this year. If you're new to watching my videos, I want to say welcome. Thank you for joining me. If this is not your first rodeo, welcome back. So good to see you guys again. I miss you all so, so much. 
Take what I've shared with you today. Let it resonate with you. Let it marinate in your spirit and let it allow you to be able to be thankful while you're waiting. Until our next car conversation, you guys take care. I love you all. And you know that I love you even when nobody else even likes you. Until next time, take care.